Maybe it's the Michael Rubens or Robert Crafts. Lucas Media, so Michael Rubin, owner of Fanatics, I know he's worth tens of billions, did an interview with the Breakfast Club, and you know, it was a uh, rumors going out because being it was bunny hopping and stuff. People was questioning, they were questioning his uh masculinity. I'll just say that, right, for YouTube. And Michael Rubin was on Breakfast Club and he said something that made people feel some kind of way. He said, quote, when I see the narrative of a really good friend of mine like Meek, there's nothing or there's not one yay bone in his body. So why do people want to lie about that? Why do people want to change the narrative to try to hurt him? He said, look, I'm just being blunt because it's just me. It's one of the things I learned about black culture that I don't like. Black on black hate is horrible. And then uh, Meek Mill comes out and says, Ruben should be saying that type of stuff out loud. A black man supposed to, but nobody's saying it. Like, it's like we only collab on songs, women and parties. He be hearing my friends getting murdered. Like, why, Meek? I can't explain it to him in a sensible way. Then, of course, Mark Rubin said he got on a phone call. Basically, as y'all see, he got on a phone call and he didn't mean to hurt anybody. And, you know, he respect and appreciate the feedback. I mean, I don't know why people are so mad. Because, I mean, A, he did speak the truth. And B, y'all wasn't going to do nothing anyway. I mean, the man on Fanatics. So, you going to still buy the NFL jerseys. You going to still buy the NBA jerseys. You going to... You still want to go all these Hollywood parties and the all white party he be having in the Hamptons and and all of that. So I, I I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear this fake outrage. We know how most of us do. Matter of fact, let's look up his net worth. Michael Rubin's net worth: eleven point five billion dollars. We know good and good and well these Negroes is not finna cancel him and move on. And you know and and, and here's a funny thing, right? Y'all got a problem with that? with what he said even though it's the truth but then you'll turn on a tubi movie you'll turn on a tubi movie who's owned by the people who own fox the rubens not the rubens uh the murdoffs so you'll turn that on and watch black on black crime in horrible in horrible ways you'll watch black on black crime so i i don't i don't want to i don't want to hear this fake outrage we don't want to hear it and yeah, Michael Rubin, he don't understand it he didn't grow up like us all you gotta do is look at wikipedia and look at how he was raised Hmm? he's raised like how a lot of those uh a lot of people are you know the people that 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 uh that deal with us so he don't know nothing about that he don't know what it's like for you to wear a pair of jordans and somebody to come and try to rob him for you to have a nice shirt on and people want to jump you for people want to jump you because you got the girls and you know just just natural natural evil hate that we have for each other he don't know nothing about that he never will none of them people never will even the people that own your corner stores and your gas stations they don't understand why y'all do that but they'll take money from you, you know? They'll definitely set up shop for 40 years and pass it on to their grandkids and all of that because they know you ain't going to do that. You're going to come in there every, every what? Every first when you get your stamps and all of it, you'll go in there and maybe get some scratch offs and, you know, generation after generation. But, I mean, honestly, he said the truth. He said the truth. Now, the problem is a lot of us, we just don't want to hear it. And, you know, even with Meek, I mean, yeah, Meek promoted a lot of stuff because he was younger, but all we all we promote within each other in our music is violence now. Yes, you have the Drakes and the Kendricks and all, but they don't do it. The record, they don't want you to do that. No, not, nobody wants you to do that as far as these record companies and all of that because that's not what's going to bring in the money. You know how much money they made off drill culture? All those artists end up getting deleted and now the record companies own those masters. For the next 30 years at least but yeah you know the hate is real the hate is real if you got on an outfit you know or if you got a whole bunch of girls you'll have people question you if you in shape people some people will, will you know they'll question you they'll question what you even like and it'd be us it'd be us you dark skin somebody question you too much you light skin somebody like somebody always it's always coming from us it's always coming from us as much racism as i had growing up in my hometown or hometown should i say with an s i felt more hate coming from my own people and a lot of times a lot of them was from my friends and family you know the ones who when you young we ain't as cool no more but you know you grow up you hear the little subtle things it's jealousy but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think